G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors and welcome to my first question and answer video. Okay, first question was what do I do for a living to be able to get the time to get out as much as I do? Well, the easy sense to that is I'm self-employed and work slow at the moment so every opportunity I get I do go out and if you look at all the video clips that are going to be shown in between each question and answer they were filmed within five minutes of where I live so you'll see why I'm so lucky to live where I do and have the opportunities I do the actual job I do I've got two one I'm a qualified clinical hypnotherapist and the second one is I also run a small building a grounds maintenance business so I do my best to get most of my work done in the first two or three days of the week and then that enables me to go out for three four and sometimes five days bush walking so that's where I get the time to do the videos on the Bibbleman track and most of the others is just day walks or local overnighters so I can test all my gear out and do reviews for you guys. Question number two I get asked. What is my favourite hammock? Now if you've watched my videos you know I've got a few different hammocks and I don't have one particular favourite hammock for all year around. But what I can say is my favourite winter hammock which I used this winter and I was really comfortable in and with the setup with the top quilt and the under quilt I was very warm and snug. And that hammock is the Torrid Jungle Hammock which I got from Survival Supplies Australia. And I've done videos about the Torrid Jungle Hammock so what I'll do down below in the comment section or wherever you call it is I'll put a link to those videos so you can go and have a look. So please just go ahead, have a look at the videos and leave me a comment and let me know what you think to them. What I use with that Torrid Jungle Hammock over the winter is I use the DD Superlight Bug Net which I know is not a closed in piece of material with being netting it allows a breeze through but it does help hold any of the uh, warmth in that I build up overnight and at the same time it reduces any condensation and then I'll just take a normal tarp that goes over the top this winter I took out the uh, let me remember it's the DD Superlight 3x3 tarp which worked really well with what I was carrying. Question number three. What pack do I use? Well the pack I use for my multi-day hikes now which in a way is my favourite because it's really comfortable and carry the weight and with the harness system you can't really tell you've got the weight in the pack that's the easiest way to explain it and that's the Tasmanian Tiger Raid Mark 3 I believe or it might be Mark 2 I'll add up here somewhere which one it is and it's a 52 litre tactical pack so that means you've got all the molly webbing on it uh, it's in a multicam which I like and with a webbing on it I can add pouches to make it work for the particular time of year I'm going out the particular setup I'm going to be using through the year or through that hike the weight of it is not the lightest but I'll be doing a full review of the pack a little bit further down the line when I've used it a lot more Question number four, what day pack do I use? 
Now it's made by the same company that make my main pack. It's a Tasmanian Tiger and it's their Essentials Day Pack. Again it's in the multicam. Again it's got the uh, Molly webbing on which works fantastic for me as I have added pouches to it which enables me to make that day pack last for multi days. I, I have made a uh, review video of the essentials pack and I'll put a link to it down in the comments section. What do I think to it? I, I really like it. Like I said, I have added pouches to it so I'm able to carry my poncho in one pocket I've added and my cook kit in another one I've added and any bits and bobs in another pouch I've added and another one with all my emergency gear in and my batteries for my camera and then you've got the main pack itself so it works really well for me especially with carrying a camera doing the YouTube channel and needing the spare batteries especially when I do overnighters would I change it at the moment no I, I really like it it's really comfortable and it really works well for me so could I recommend that particular pack I can but I cannot say it's the one for you in particular the only way you can find out is use one and as every one of us are individuals and different in most aspects then it's not an answer you can give 100% but I really do like the Tasmanian Tiger Essentials Day Pack which is one I use. And now the final question, question number five. Where am I from? I have people say I've got different accents. Some hear my English accent, some hear an Australian accent, some hear accents from other places. Now I live in Australia. I've been here now, where am I now? 14 years. And I love the place. It, it, it was always a dream of mine of, to come and live in Australia from once uh, from when I came to visit family who live here and when I got on the plane going back to England I was homesick for Australia so after taking oh let me work it out probably over 20 years through being married having children and running my business in the UK and then coming, getting to Australia. I said it took about 20 years, a bit more. And it was the best thing I ever did. This is my home, Australia is. It's not like a lot of people say, yeah, they've come from another country, that other country is their home. No, I've come to Australia because this is my home. But I was born in the UK and I used to live on the outskirts and I was brought up on the outskirts of a city called Coventry and those of you who may know your history and everything else it's the city of Lady Godiva and the Peeping Tom they both go hand in hand I, I, I can always remember growing up where I used to live it was never any much further than about four or five hundred meters away from the woods or the forest or your, your bushland and that's where I spent most of my time climbing the trees making the uh, the tree the dens and the uh, small log cabins and, and all that sort of thing I, I think all kids should be doing not sitting there like this on their iPads and playing their PS whatever they are called Th this is to me, this is growing up. Growing up was being able to let off steam, go running through the woods. And when I was young, we'd come back with the bluebells, which are wild flowers, which actually now it's illegal to pick them now in the wild. 
So I was lucky to be able to grab armfuls of those and take them back home to my parents, to my mum and have them all around the house in all the vases and, and I was able to really really enjoy growing up back in England the nearest home we had to the bush uh, was probably what's that that's a uh, hundred feet away so what's that 30 33 meters away so just out the door take a right walk up the road and that was it I was in the bush and I, I was in heaven there that, that's a beautiful place but like I said when I came to visit family in Australia I fell in love with the place it became my home and that day I got off the plane when I came back to Australia I was coming home so now I am from Australia if anybody asks even though I was born and brought up in the UK I'm from Australia and that was the best move I could have made in my life I have children back in England I have grandchildren and I miss them to bits but the opportunity for them to come and visit is open I've, I've put my arms out for them to come over I've even offered on their 21st birthdays to pay for them and their partners to come over and it, yeah yeah they, 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 I think they'd love it here anybody who comes to visit and they love wildlife it, it's just fantastic out here so that's where I'm from I'm originally from Coventry but I am now from Western Australia I'm just south of Perth and it's just beautiful here I hope you've enjoyed the video today and the clips in between the question and answers is such a beautiful area where I live and I really do enjoy being out there and making these videos for you and if it's the first time you've seen any of my videos please go down below and click on the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future videos and click the like button because the more likes I get the more my channel grows and that's what I'm really looking forward to to seeing all these people subscribing and enjoying my videos and if you are already a subscriber I thank you very much for subscribing and following me on my journey so until next time get out there have some fun and take care.